Man has always been drawn to space, having not had time to understand the history and mysteries of their own planet. Mankind is simply eager to explore new worlds. They started with the moon, but lunar research was suspended. Ufologists not without reason believe that all the dots over a were set by aliens. Extraterrestrial civilizations have long and densely occupied the Earth's satellite and are not going to tolerate on it pathetic representatives of humanity. When the road to the moon was closed, the restless explorers at any rate wanted to master Mars. But even here we are still failing, mistake after mistake, failure after failure. Mankind continues to be haunted by failures. In space, but what prevents our rockets from going into space? According to one version, all accidents are somehow connected with extraterrestrial intelligence. More than 20 years ago, scientists suggested that any exploration expedition would be doomed to failure solely because extraterrestrial civilizations are categorically opposed to letting people into space, assuming that there is intelligent life on Mars, albeit in a different form than ours. It becomes obvious that the Martians want to prevent humans from appearing on the Red Planet. Despite the arguments of some scientists, attempts to begin the development of Mars did not stop. But they all failed. The aliens are not fools. They perfectly understand that people are driven not only by scientific interest, but also by the thirst for profit. It is not difficult to guess that enterprising mankind will immediately begin to rob the bowels of the Red Planet. So people will get, rob and exhaust other planets of solar system. In 2008 the whole Catholic world was shocked by the Vatican statement about the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. For the first time in its history, the Catholic Church recognized the existence of other worlds and admitted that aliens could visit our planet in ancient times and influence the development of mankind. In other words, divine chariots and heavenly angels are nothing but UFOs and aliens. Not only that, Vatican representatives reported that the aliens were also created by God, and the Pope will gladly convert them to the Catholic faith. The question arises, what made the Vatican recognize aliens, and even call them angels of high technology? However, there is no need to even guess. The world community knows very well that the secret archives of the Vatican libraries contain secret knowledge and documents. Ufologists and many scientists of the world suspect that the fall of an alien ship in 1947 was still, and in the study of UFOs, as well as its contents, including alien pilots, were involved representatives of the Vatican. And there is a version that the aliens are really very similar to angels, not humanoids with gray skin and huge eyes. Has anyone ever wondered why our world is so diverse? Why the earth is not populated by one race? Why we have so many nationalities? Religions and cultures. The theory of paleocontact explains it all. Different extraterrestrial civilizations regularly visited Earth in different eras and in different places. Roughly speaking, alien beings divided our planet among themselves. Each extraterrestrial race staked out its territory. Therefore, people adopted the culture, knowledge and even the appearance of their gods. Many ancient works of art, frescoes, rock paintings, sculptures, Miniatures depicted humanoid creatures in some semblance of spacesuits. Even halos on icons, according to scientists, are nothing but a transparent sphere helmet, giving the opportunity to breathe to heavenly guests. Obviously, such images cannot be embodied unless one observes them firsthand. All this happened thousands of years ago, and already many researchers believe that all human religions are generated exactly by the coming to Earth of aliens who seem to earth aborigines as gods. And the gods, of all peoples, are different. People saw them with their own eyes and drew them the same way. That is why the gods could have a different number of limbs and eyes. And some of them had animal heads or bodies instead of human ones. Until now no one can explain the giant figures in the Peruvian desert Nazca, statues on Easter Island, the mysterious Stonehenge, pyramids in different parts of the world, who built all these structures, could the ancient Egyptians build the Great Pyramid, which consists of two, five million granite blocks without the help of extraterrestrial technology? By the way, why go far away? Under Kharkov there is a whole chain of mysterious dungeons, the length of which only within the city more than 30 kilometers. And researchers still cannot understand when this underground labyrinth was built, because neither in Kievan Rus nor beyond its borders, this type of brick was not produced anywhere. 
and the method of masonry was not even suspected. To build such a grandiose construction, you need bright light, but there are no traces of soot, which means that open fire was not used. Did the ancient builders use electricity, or were they familiar with another source of energy? Otherwise, how can we explain the likenesses of electric lamps depicted on the thousand-year-old bar reliefs? There are thousands of evidences that some powerful and highly developed civilization on the earth was present after all. It is not clear only one thing, it was of earth origin or it was representatives of other worlds. Contactors are people who somehow or other, but can communicate with alien civilizations. There are many of them on earth now. They are a kind of conductors between humans and aliens. From their words it is known that all the planets of the solar system have already been mastered. Basically, life there exists within the planets themselves, on Earth. Life was brought artificially. And this is one of the most grandiose experiments of extraterrestrial civilizations. Their joint brainchild. That is why alien civilizations will not allow the end of the world and the death of the Earth. No matter how much humanity itself strives for it. For too long the planet was prepared for the acceptance and birth of life. In the depths of Mars settled phenomenal in its level of development of civilization. Spacecrafts of aliens work on the energy of crystals resembling our terrestrial rubies and other precious stones. The aliens are not interested in the energy of the sun either. They take energy from the depths of space with the help of very powerful crystal installations. The alien mind will block any human expeditions into space to explore other planets. Their social order is based on completely different principles. Roughly speaking, the aliens have communism, that is, no one needs anything. And until people do not eradicate the thirst for profit, they will never be able to fly to Mars. Because they will bring nothing else but destruction to other planets. And the aliens have plenty of ways to stop humans, technology permitting. It's like punishing a naughty child by slapping his hands to keep him out of trouble. Wouldn't you agree? What do you think about that?